Well, we've been through how things played us out on Friday. Give us a sense of what uh, markets are doing at the moment from your perspective and how you see this week playing out. Good morning, Alicia. Um, I will say it's, it's a very positive development we've seen in the markets from the start of the year. Um, over year to date, the market is up, up just over 8%, compared to a, um, a decline of 30% in the first month of 2009. So definitely there's a general turn, turn in sentiment. Um, last year, I think a lot of investors were worried about how the market will play out, and that reflected in price movement. Um, this year, I think um, investors are a lot more upbeat. We've seen more investing from the internationals, really um, supporting the market uptrend. Um, from the internet, from the institutional investors locally as well, we're seeing some uh, sustained demand, and then of course um, some brokers are still speculating. So overall, the, the outlook for the market is looking very good. Um, however, uh, there will definitely be. Uh, uh, a lot of investors will continue to pay attention to developments and the political scene and then of course um, with oil prices and oil production given what has happened with the um, main calling of the ceasefire uh, over the weekend. Well, of course, with that turn in sentiment as well, what we're starting to see emerge is uh, some sector rotation. We've seen investors on Friday falling out of the food and beverages sector that has proven to be pretty resilient through the market downturn experience last year. Why this uh, move away from that sector that's proven to be resilient now when there's still quite a bit of uncertainty about? Well, I, I wouldn't really say it's a move totally away from the sector. I think... The movement we've seen is more of profit taking on some selected counters. Um, we've seen a lot of um, stocks, Nestle for instance, Cadbury in particular this year starting very, very brightly and some investors will begin to take um, profit on certain counters. So I still think that looking into 2010, um, the non-banking sector is probably where uh, more, more, more asset allocation should be mm -hmm. um, directed at. I think, uh, yes, there's a lot of, there's, there is, We've seen the banking sector bottom in our view, and we expect it to recover. But however, I think that the, the sector might, become, might move into um, a, a range and the upside would be limited at some point, given all the issues surrounding it, at least until we've seen more intervention from regulators, particularly with the asset management company. So in, in the first half of the year, we'll continue to support tactical plays in the banking sector, but more strategic allocation would be to the non-banking. That having been said, I mean, we are seeing uh, stocks that are supported by fundamentals gaining some recognition, cement players being one of them, Ashaka Cement on the gainer board uh, quite a few days last week. But it's not just the cement players that are getting attention. In the mortgage company sector, we had Asso Savings and then Union Homes moving higher as well. We were talking about the uh, housing deficit in the country last week and how ultimately that is good for construction players. What's your outlook for the financiers in that playing field? Well, most of the um, companies quoted um, in that sector are really small cap or medium cap companies at best. I think that most for, for those type of companies, the, the movements will really be driven by results and of course looking at how low they have come down. Um, we've seen, for instance, the insurance sector where many counters are very close to nominal value. We would We expect that if such companies um, begin to post positive results, then there will be some speculative um, interest in those, in those companies. So I think that is what we're seeing in, in that sector, really. If we look at uh, these mortgage houses, I mean, we've seen banks making heavy provision for loan losses. Should we be expecting the same out of these players when they re uh, release results? It's tough to say. Um, as you know, the, one of the challenges we've had with the banking sector up till now is disclosure. And for, for players in that sector as well, being medium to small cap companies, there hasn't been that much scrutiny with, um, with regards to the results that they are announcing. Um, we think that there is a risk, just like with, with most other sectors in the economy, with the economic slowdown, that um, there could be some um, losses related to loans given out to, in the mortgage sector. So I think that we we'll really have to just look at them on a case by case basis. I think in our view, the more focus should be to the non-banking, um, non-financial companies 
and um, like I said earlier, tactical plays in select banks.